Did you know that the straight route is actually longer than a curved route? Yes, you heard that right. If you travel from the Philippines straight to San Francisco, the distance will be 6,230 nautical miles. However, if you took the curved route up north, your distance would only be 5,947 nautical miles. So when did ever a curved line became shorter than a straight line? It actually has something to do with how our maps were drawn. We commonly use Mercator projection charts. This is a flattened version of the Earth. All the longitudes were made parallel, so it's easier to plot our course and compass bearings. The problem with this projection is that everything on the top or the bottom is stretched out. That's why if you have observed Greenland on our maps, it looks like a really huge island. It even takes up the size of Africa. When in reality, if you compare Greenland to the continent of Africa, this is what it looks like. So, the rule in navigation is higher latitude equals shorter distance. Now, if we look back at our route from the Philippines to San Francisco, you may have saved 283 nautical miles and thousands of dollars worth of fuel. The problem with this route is that since you are navigating in higher latitudes, you will You'll also encounter more bad weathers, storms, or icebergs along the route. If you remember Titanic, they said the captain attempted to get a steaming trophy on the fastest passage across the Atlantic Ocean. That's one of the reasons they encountered more icebergs in their route. If you're a seafarer, which route would you choose? The shortest route where you can save fuel or money, or the farther route but with calmer weather? Follow me to know more.